guys, this is Noise Ray, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray. If I remember correctly, we last left off, we fought Team Rocket in the Meridian Forest, and we still haven't made it to Pewter City. Um, turn this down just a little bit. Still stuck in this dang forest because of these freaking Pokemon that are so dang strong and their Weedles and their freaking poison. If I remember correctly, um, Caterpie evolved into Metapod about the time after. By the time after, um, he defeated Team Rocket. Which makes sense, because he destroyed like three Pokemon. Even though in this game we only fought two of them. Kind of upsetting that they didn't send out Meow. But it's whatever. Anyways. Yeah, so basically, now we are technically supposed to have a Metapod. I'm not sure if they're going to do the um, Samurai episode. Where we have to go see the samurai, and there's a big tree. We're fighting all these bee drills. I know that happens before we get out of Viridian Forest, so. Okay, let's check out our Pokemons. Okay, I'm gonna switch out with Pikachu because I need to level up Pikachu. Oh, it's a trainer. Oh, I think I fought the trainer. I think that's why I had to go back. Or maybe not. Could be wrong. Thunder Shock. Thunder Shock. Critical hit. Poor Beetle. And Peach is almost level nine. Oh, it's a trainer. Okay. Greetings. I am addressing the Pokemon trainer who comes from Pallet. Oh, look, it's him. It's him. Then I found you at last. I am Samurai. Let's have a Pokemon match and see who triumphs. Ah, oh, it's Samurai. I knew he was a bug catcher. Bug catcher Sam, we just fought him. And now here's bug catcher Samurai. Let's see. I think I sent out Pikachu first. I think he sent out Pikachu first. Oh my god. Pikachu, we're in trouble. And Pikachu didn't lose. Okay, he's focusing energy. We're okay. We got another hit in on us. Okay, try to focus energy again like a stupid pincer. Maybe next time it'll be power. Oh, I'll use bind. And it killed poor Pikachu. God dang it, Pikachu. Metapod, go! Metapod, use Harden! Metapod, use Harden! Ha! Metapod, use Harden! Okay, I'm actually going to attack now. Oh my god. Metapod, you do no damage. Can't let Metapod die because Metapod's supposed to win. Actually, I think, I think he sent out Pidgeotto against Pinsir. Because he just caught Pidgeotto, but then Samurai came out. Oops, I sent out Pikachu instead. Too bad. Metapod's level 9! My god. No. Let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be the worst thing in the game. Okay, I can't. I can't do this. As much as I'd love to have this Metapod battle, I don't think it's gonna be as fun to watch. Because he's pretty much just gonna be using Harden the whole time. I'm pretty sure Gus is a special attack, so Harden won't really matter. At least I had Metapod out for a little while, right? I finished off Pinsir with him just like they did in the show. That's correct. Metapod fainted. Metapod went to level 10. Hooray! Shiono got some experience. And Samurai, you're defeated. Do you hear that buzzing? Yeah, that would be Beedrills. <gasps> Metapod's evolving! You're a little bit early on that, Metapod. Just a little bit, but... Thanks for evolving, Metapod. That's a butterfree. It's a butterfree! Congratulations, J. Metapod evolved into butterfree. Hooray! There's seed powder! We're a little bit too early with the Metapod evolving. But it's okay. Weedle? I, I don't remember letting a Weedle escape. What are you talking about? Yay, rest Pokemon. What's this? Oh, an antidote. This is a very interesting cabin. Oh, I guess that's really all that we have the. I guess that's really all that really happens. So I guess, um. I guess it's a good thing that Metapod evolved from that battle. Caterpie! Destroy it with lightning. Like. I was gonna say kill it with fire, but Pikachu is kind of a lightning Pokemon, so. Thunder Shock! I always love that in um, like Pokemon Yellow, Pikachu starts off with Thundershock. It is so hard to get a good Pokemon with a lightning move, like a good electric move, in like any of the games, in the very beginning. Hello. Did you see that Beedrill storm before? I could hear the buzzing all the way out here. Oh my god. Metapod! Are we gonna do this again? Uh, Pikachu, you're already level 9. What else? Ow, that hurts. I love Pikachu's static ability. It's awesome. Pikachu gained 108 experience points. Hooray! He's about to use Caterpie. Sure. Let's get Pidgeotto up to level 9. Caterpie. Gust. And Caterpie is dead. That's a critical hit and super effective. That sucks. There's a Caterpie. It's terrible. There have to be some serious levels in this game. I don't remember it being this, like... Well, actually, I lied. I do remember the first game being pretty tough. The first game was tough. Like, in the very beginning, you had to, like, level grind like crazy to do... Especially 
to do good against Brock, because Brock was hard. Especially if you had Pokemon Yellow. If you had Pokemon Yellow, all you had was Pikachu. And Pokemon that had, like, Tackle. But it did nothing against Rock Pokemon. Like, nothing. Oh, wait. Okay, Pikachu's still out. Okay, we're good. Go, Pikachu! I didn't mean to use Growl. Dang it. What if there's a way to switch out my... I gotta move, I gotta move those moves around. Thunder where are they? That's better. That's better. Much better. And Weedle is down. Leaving Viridian Forest, Peter City ahead. What if I was coming from this direction? Tisk tisk tisk. Flint's Rock Shop. Rock souvenirs for your stay at the Stone and Gar Gray City of Pewter. Hello! Pewter City is gray. The color of stone. This town has always been famous for stone. My name's Flint, and you're standing on some of my merchandise, young man. These rocks are Pewter City, Pewter City souvenirs. You want to buy some? An item held by a Pokemon. An unbreakable stone that boosts the power of rock-type moves. Why not? It's really not that expensive, so might as well. See ya. Don't tell me you plan on challenging Brock, the Peter City gym leader. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you really think you'll beat him? Ha ha ha. We already talked. I don't want him anymore. I already got enough rocks. Good luck with challenging Brock. Ha ha ha. Finally, Peter City. Time to invade people's houses. Hello, old man. Shamanians can be given to Pokemon to be heard. Sometimes they make blah blah blah. Pokemon are so clever, they know just how to use certain items you give them. In order to um, in order to blah blah blah. What's this? Peter City, a stone gray city. It makes it seem boring. What could this? What could this machine be? Better not mess around with it. Oh, look, it's the. Uh, it's the water thing that they power up Pikachu in. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. Hold on a second, kid. You're not leaving without facing Brock, are you? I thought you said you had what it takes to beat him. Ha ha ha. Well, get to it then. Let's see what you got. Okay, so I cannot leave without fighting Brock. That makes sense. Peter has its own hydroelectric plant. It, gener it generates power for the whole city. Okay. There's a lot of responsibility. He has to take care of his younger siblings because of his no account father. Blah blah blah. I wonder where his house is. Where's the Pokemon Center? Here's a gym. Kaflari come from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared. I gotta stop walking away. Not moon. <laughs> House. Hello, man. Hello there, youngin. I'm Tough Tim. I raised my Pokemon as tough as and hardy as they can be. If you'd like, I can help toughen up your Pokemon too for the price of one yellow shard. How about it? Sure. Sorry, youngin, but you don't have the goods to pay me for my services. Yeah, I don't have any yellow shards. So, forget that. We've already been here. Holy crap. Salvador. 
My brother's at the gym awaiting challengers right now. Tilly. Brock's a great big brother. He always looks after. Oh my god, really? <laughs> he always looks after us so we don't hardly miss our parents. I'm Billy. I'm Brock's brother. Really now? My brother should be coming home soon. Rock Pokemon are neat, aren't they? I like how the boys have blue text and the girls have red text. Have you ever played with a Geodude? It can roll itself into a ball and you can push it around. That's terrible. My brother loves his Pokemon so much. Yolanda? He has a sister called Yolanda? <laughs> wow. Okay. Hi, have you met my brother? He takes care of all of Okay, Yolanda. And he has a brother named Forrest. Forest Gump. Run, Forest, run! That's probably what they were thinking. They probably conceived him while they were running, so they called him Forest. My brother, <laughs> my older, <laughs> my older. <laughs> I don't have to explain things to you, Jacqueline. My older brother Brock watches. I don't need to be watched over, though. Someday I'll be as powerful as a trainer as he is. As soon as you run over all over Kanto, just like you should, and you were destined to be. <laughs> I believe that. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon Center real quick. I'm about to get the crap beat out of me by Brock. This weird guy just outside of Peter Soto Brock. I don't think I was... I don't know. Ugh. Hi, I'm glad to meet you. That's an unfair... That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? Yes? A profile is written using four words or phrases. There's plenty of words to choose from. The words are... Uh, uh, uh. That's my profile. I am... A... Pokemon. I am a ho ho. Oh wait, no. Uh, greeting. Here it is, a Pokemon Airlock. Perfect. Here it is, a Pokemon Airlock. Hmm. Your profile really says something about who you are. Now that I know you better, it makes us friends. Yep, and I will never see you again. Goodbye, lady. Hi, Chansey. Chansey! Would you like me to heal your Pokemons? Yes, heal my Pokemons. You're thinking of entering the Pokemon Regional Championship, huh? You don't even have any badges. You're way off from entering. You know what? Your mom's off. Okay. Time to enter the gym. You don't have to fight any of the, uh... Actually, I don't, th I don't know if he ever actually had any, um... People in his gym. Guys, I'm scared. Pikachu is gonna get the crap beat out of him. Well, when I think about it, the actual battle, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna use Pikachu. Even though Pikachu can't do any damage. I wish. My name is Brock. I am the leader of the post Pokemon Gym. This is your first gym battle? And that Pikachu is your Pokemon? Your Pikachu is in its cutest stage. It can't win. As gym leader, I have to accept every challenge, so let's get this over with. He has one Pokemon. What happened to his Geodude? It's a level 14! 
Thunder Wave! Oh, I could actually, uh, I could actually hurt Onyx, because Onyx isn't a ground type. At least I don't think Onyx is a ground. Oh my god, Pikachu, you are dead. I am going to fail this, this round. I am going to lose terribly. And Onyx missed again. Go Butterfree! You know, my Butterfree knows Harden. I'd like to see how that works. Well, I guess since he's paralyzed, he doesn't really need a... Why am I using a Butterfree? Eh, Butterfree is dead. How did Ash even win this? Like, I was just trying to think about it for a second. Are the sprinklers gonna go off? Am I gonna win because of the sprinklers? That'd be great. Because I don't have anything else I'm, I can do with this with. Pikachu is the only one that can really do any kind of damage. Okay, yeah, we definitely lost this battle, just like we're supposed to. Ash lost his first battle against Onyx. Peck it! Peck it to death! Well, that was a hoot. Onyx, come back! Stop, I don't want to hurt your Pikachu. Let's call us a draw. Yeah, no joke. White it out. I never understood that. What does it mean when I white out? The Pokemon aren't strong enough to pose a threat to me. Come back when you've grown. God dang it! God dang it! Dang damn it! Come with me. I wonder if you're just like if there's something happens if you don't lose. I'm kind of curious. Everyone loses sometimes. You can't let that get you down. Brock is very good. His talents can take him much farther than just being a local gym leader. But Brock has nine little brothers and sisters to take care of, so he can never leave town for a regional championship. It's good for nothing. Father let the family become a Pokemon trainer, and they never heard from him again. His heartbroken mother tried her best to hold things together, but she sadly passed away. Brock is the only one whose little brothers and sisters have left. You should. So you think you could beat Brock? I may know just the way that can you can supercharge your Pikachu. Derpy derp derp. The river turns a wheel to generate electricity. <sighs> so, what it basically gives you is an item the light ball in order to be held by Pikachu oh by a Pikachu that raises its special attack stat I'm curious let's see what is your special attack Pikachu it's just by a Pikachu it's nothing else just a Pikachu the special attack is 15 so let's see how much it raises it to It's still 15. Um. I guess it doesn't show you. Oh well. 
Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and train off camera and get Pikachu up to like level 15 or something. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna go beat Brock with Pikachu. See you later.